Hello Linux users, I'm Abhishek from It's Force and today I'm going to show you some really cool Linux command tricks that is going to save you plenty of keystrokes when you work in Linux terminal. So here we go. The tab completion. You cannot not use tab completion. I mean you might already know about this. What, you, what it does is when you start typing a command or anything, you can just press tab and it will auto complete the command or the argument this is really really useful you really don't have to type everything on on your own and you don't have to type everything from scratch just start typing something and then press tab it will either complete the command or it will provide all the possible arguments you must use it i mean you cannot live without it the second one is changing directory to home while you can simply use cd and then special character to change the directory and move back to home you can actually use a small trick here you can just use cd and then you can just press enter what it does it it will just bring you back home without the need of two extra keystrokes here we just save two keystrokes the next one is really useful I mean it's very useful when you when you have like a long list of commands and you want to use them again so you can search for it just press ctrl R to go to reverse search and then start typing something the string from which your command should originate or use and then you can just ctrl R again and again to cycle through those commands this is really really useful the next one is running multiple commands uh, imagine yourself in a situation when you have to run more than one commands but you have to wait for them like one command finishes and then you have to run another command so waiting for them is not very convenient because you might forget to to actually to look actually for the command to finish instead of manually doing it you can use semicolon and then what it does is it will run the commands one on after another but you don't have to manually do it there's another part of this running multiple commands but with dependency for example if instead of using semicolon if you use ampersand ampersand it will run multiple the commands one after another but the second command or the, the command which is after that will only be run when the first command is successful. And the next one is going to previous directory. This is my personal favorite. I mean, people have been using uh, CD for so many years, but they don't realize the simple trick. And I think you should really give this video a thumbs up, especially for this tiny command actually. So what you do is you are in a long path somewhere in your Linux directory structure and then you have to move to another directory. It's a long path. Instead of copying the entire path to go back, just use cd hyphen and then you will be back to the previous directory. Super cool trick. So the next one, using argument from last command. This is also very time saving. What it does is suppose that you are in a situation where you're looking suppose you're looking at a directory you do ls and then you start typing something to look the content of that directory and then you realize oh i just don't need to look at it i need to change the directory what you can do here is instead of typing the entire stuff you can press alt dot and it will give you the all the command the arguments from the last commands and you can cycle through them with l dot l dot l dot this also saves a lot of time the next one is i guess probably many people already know this suppose you enter a command and then you realize that oh you forgot sudo with it you can just use sudo exclamation exclamation and then it will automatically take the the last command as its argument and the last one here is when you're editing something in the command line 
suppose you are typing a long command and then you realize that oh i forgot something in the beginning of the line so either you go through the arrow start pressing an arrow to move to the front of the line or you can press the home or end end button but you won't find the home and end key on a laptop i mean not that easy so what you can do is instead you can just press ctrl a to move to the beginning of the line and ctrl e to move to the end of the line that's it that's really easy i hope you like these command line tricks and i think that you probably be using it to amaze your colleagues you know because these commands are actually coming from the experience of long time you know linux users so give a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and see you next time bye bye